Black Forest Labs just dropped the latest version of Flux called Context. And the really amazing thing about Context, literally the name is the preservation of input and output. So in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about why this is such a big deal and show you some examples I've created just so you can get a better idea and feel for the tool and why it's pretty incredible. So here's a example from Black Forest Labs themselves. They've got this image, she's got this snowflake thing on top of her face and literally just with some simple words, you're saying, remove this thing from the face and it knows exactly what you're talking about. So contextually, totally understands that. And that's like the incredible thing. Like the local edits are amazing. Quality looks good. We don't really see any, you know, diminishing or artifacts appearing. And then you can take that same character and then place them in a different scene. And the blending is quite impressive. So now this is snow and this is sunny. So like, look at that. The preservation is such a big thing that we've been missing in the AI world. So really appreciate to see it here. So, you know, if you're curious about more use cases, they've got all these different examples of the input image with a prompt, but you can see from image to image, it looks really good. Quality wise, it's able to replicate very well and it understands like the intent. And I think that's one thing everyone can agree on in the world of AI, how hard it is to kind of get that consistency from image to image, because usually things would change and the image isn't as good as it used to be. So anyways, this is a great model. Um, just to talk a little bit more about why it's important. You know, we've got references that we can plug in. So reference photo, swap things out, you'll have consistency and you could do local editing. So that's amazing. And it's all super fast. So there's two flavors of this, the max model and the pro model max, is a little bit faster, more expensive, and they're hosted on all these platforms. Me personally, I use free pick. So I want to hop into free pick and show you what that looks like. So this is the user interface for the create tab. Um, one of the reasons I use free pick, if you're curious, um, they have this great mode called AI assistant. And if you don't want to deal with like, Oh, which model I should use, you literally just talk to this chat bot, you drop the image in there and it just does it for you. So it's pretty cool. It's kind of like chat GPT. You're like, Hey, I want this. And then it does exactly what you want. You could either do auto or pick a model, but since we know what we're doing, I'm going to show you some of the examples I've done. So I'll, I'll set the stage and I'll show you some of the starting images. So a long time ago, I created this image with mystic, magnific mystic. It was a bright sunny day. And literally with a simple prompt saying, make it a nighttime scene. It was able to take that same zip geometry, change the lighting and add all the correct coloring. It even knew to turn the lights on. And that's where it's really impressive because it's doing all these extra details that I didn't account for in the first go. So happy with that. I did the same thing with making it a rainy scene. Look at that. Like it added puddles and reflections and again, time of day, the clouds, the precipitation, like all looks accurate. So this is incredible. So then with this project, I did the same, same example. I had a bright sunny day, as you can see here. And then this is what it gave me. It has a rainy scene. It turned the lights on It added puddles and water very, very convincing. And this took no time at all. And if you're like, okay, yeah, well, that's cool. Well, think about how long it would take you to do this in Photoshop. Like this would probably take me like a solid day. And like, I'm, I'm okay at Photoshop, I'm not like a wizard, but like, I'm okay. It would take me way too long. And same thing here with golden hour. Look, we get all these different variations and you can choose how many you want to generate. And I'll show you exactly how that works in just a moment. But the most important thing is you could do design options rather quickly. So I can make this a traditional building. I can make it modern. I don't need to manually model or render these options. I could just plug in a reference photo and it will swap in place. That's huge. Same thing with color edits. If I wanted to do this manually, you know, I'd have to bring it to Photoshop. It would take me some time. So then for this view right here, I had this modern interior, right? And I asked it to make it more traditional. Look at that. It swapped out the sofa It added some details here, preserved the windows, right? And it even changed this like modern window into this more traditional window. So really, really incredible. And it added all these details. Like this is what I'm talking about. Like it's adding all these things I didn't originally account for. So that's why it's huge. Then we've got this sofa where we can just make local edits to it. I just want it to be velvet green, plug that in. And there we go. Like that's crazy. So I'll show you how to use this in 
free pick. So step one, you want to give it a image reference. And right now I'm using pro uh, just because it handles references a little bit better and it's slightly cheaper. It's uh, you can see right here, it's about 50 credits cheaper. And when you do this all day long, cause it's so much fun, you really burn up your credits as you can see here. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab this chair and I'm going to drag it into the image reference. And now I can say, make the chair a blue velvet and we can say place it outside so now we're giving it multiple things to do and i'm going to put ai prompt on because it's basically going to make it better it's going to improve the prompt which is great because if you're not a native english speaker just expands your prompt makes it better and you get better results you could if you want pick a specific style like if you don't want photorealistic and you want like a cartoon or an ink drawing you could do that here, but I'm going to leave that off because I don't need that. And then if you want to get very particular about the color scheme, you can drop that in there. So that's why, you know, big fan of free pick here. And then this is your design options. So let's say I want to do four. This will cost more, right? So this is 400 credits. This is 200 credits, right? And then you can change the aspect ratio as well. I'm fine with one by one square. I'm going to hit generate. And now I'm not going to speed it up or anything just so you can see how fast it is. I think it's been like three seconds, four seconds, and then here we go. Like that's, that's insane. So, you know, having a lot of fun with this tool. And I, I really think like, this is, it's kind of like the future of where these AI or gen AI models are going, where it understands consistency and then we can iterate. Like that's a huge thing. A, a lot of these images in the past, it's been kind of like one time use, but now that I'm able to actually edit them and iterate, it makes them so much more usable. So with this, I could hit edit and then I could either adjust or change or upscale. So let's say I don't want it to be blue. I want the chair to be purple. I'm not losing the image, right? It's just being enhanced or revised. And you're going to see that little option right here. You can see it's baking and there you go. Like that's, that took no time at all. So you can hit save or done. And that's it. You can then go and export and all your different revisions or iterations will be right here. And what I like about free pick at least is like, you can see it has one edit and actually calls that out and everything's labeled quite nicely. Then you can save it out as a PNG or upscale if you want it higher res. Right now it is exporting out as 1K by 1K. You know, it's good for like small images, but you're definitely going to want to upscale and you could use either their classic or magnific to upscale, but magnific is a little, little pricey, you know, 90 credits just for that. Meanwhile, one generation with context pro is a hundred. So it's basically like double just to get the upscale. But anyways, that's it for this video. You know, curious what you guys think. If you have any questions about it, leave a comment and be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.